Alexia Patelis is a Barcelona superstar that is at the top of her game right now. Her style of play has been compared to Messi and she has won basically every one competition there is to win. But who is she? Stay tuned to find out as we count down 10 things you didn't know about Alexia Patelis. Number 1. She won the Champions League The Champions League is the biggest competition in club football. It puts the best teams in the world against each other to see who is the greatest. And for the Women's League, it's just as important. Women's football is still growing and the Champions League is one of the most viewed events. Hundreds of thousands tune in to watch the big teams battle it out. That's why it was a landmark moment for Barcelona when Patelis helped guide them to victory in 2021. To make it even sweeter, they beat Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain on the way to the finals. Paris Saint-Germain had already defeated Lyon, who were the big favourites to win. Lyon had won seven titles and were expected to defend their most recent win. Barcelona managed to beat Paris Saint-Germain by just one goal to guarantee their place in the big match against Chelsea. It was not going to be easy. Chelsea are one of the best teams in England and have won the Super League four times in the last decade. So when Barcelona beat them 4-0, it shocked everyone. It showed just how strong this Barcelona team was and how they could compete with anyone. It was also the first time the Barcelona women's team had won the Champions League and Patelis did her job in midfield to make it happen. She won the award for best midfielder of the tournament and was also named in the squad of the season for her performance. Number two, she was born and raised in Barcelona. For many people, Barcelona is at the top of their travel destinations. It has over 8 million tourists per year who come to see the beach, the art, the churches, and of course, the football. But for Alexia, she's no tourist. She was born in Barcelona and football was in her blood. Her father used to take her to big football games at Camp Noi as die-hard supporters. Barcelona fans are known to be some of the most dedicated supporters in world football. They once threw a pig's head onto the ground in front of Real Madrid's player, Luis Vigo. But not all the fans are that fanatic, and Patelis never did any of those things. But she's very proud to be Catalan. She's even represented Catalonia since 2014. The team is not officially recognised by FIFA or UEFA, and so they can only play in friendly matches. But for the players, it is a moment of pride to be able to play for their home countries. They play against other teams. Number 3. She watches England's Women's Super League Footballers love to watch other footballers play. It gives them ideas, inspiration and teaches them how other teams are playing. If you have ever watched Women's Super League, then you and Alexia have something in common. She has said that she thinks that the England Women's Super League is a role model for other leagues around the world. She has described it as accessible for everyone and that all of the matches are entertaining to watch. She thinks that this is because each team are truly competitive. This means that each match is entertaining and it is also good for the players. That's what makes it one of the best leagues in the world. But she admits that Arsenal and Chelsea might be a step above the rest. And she would know, she played Chelsea in the finals of the Champions League. Number 5. She used to play for Espanyol What do they say? If you love something, let it go? Well, that's what Barcelona did with Alexia. She spent a year with the Barcelona Youth Academy when she was 12, but then she decided to leave home and join the youth team of Espanyol instead. By the time she was just 16, she played professionally with the Espanyol senior team. She performed well enough there that she attracted the interests of other big clubs. Then she went to play for Levante for one year where she was the top goal scorer. Patelis had well and truly proven herself and was now ready for a big move, and there's no place like home. She returned to Barcelona in 2012 and she has stayed there for the last 10 years. It's no surprise really, she grew up watching heroes in Barcelona shirts and always dreamed of being one. Now, kids look up to her as their idol. The club clearly see her as a big asset for them and she signed a contract last year that lasts until 2024. Just after signing the contract, she scored one of the fastest hat-tricks in footballing history. She scored three goals in just four minutes. With a player like that, how can you lose? Number five, she said she might transfer to England. Alexia looks like she'll never leave Barcelona. For one thing, she was born and raised there. She has a family there and a deep connection to the club. She said that she's happy where she is for now and she agrees with the club's approach. But she also said she wouldn't rule out a possible transfer somewhere else. She said that maybe when her moment will have gone or if she doesn't fit into the club anymore, she would consider leaving. When asked if she would be open to moving to the Women's Super League in England, she said, you never know. She has a very high opinion of the league and thinks it's one of the best in the world. So if you're a Chelsea or an Arsenal supporter, you may be in luck, but you might be crossing your fingers for a long time. She looks like she's at the peak of her powers right now. Number six, her hero was Andreas Anesta. 
Growing up, we all need a hero to idolise. In sport, it helps shape the kind of player that a youngster grows into. For Alexia, that person was Andreas Iniesta. He is a Spanish footballer who is thought to be one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Just like Alexia, he came through Barcelona's youth academy before being promoted to the senior team where he had a big impact. His achievements are almost too many to list. During his 17 years at the club, he won the Spanish La Liga nine times, the Champions League four times, and the Club World Cup three times. He also won the World Cup with Spain. He won anything and everything with Barcelona. Along with Lionel Messi and Xavier Hernandez, he formed part of the legendary Barcelona team that was almost unbeatable. Tell us would watch Iniesta's movement passing and awareness when she was learning to play football. Her style of play is very similar to Iniesta's and the inspiration is clear. She also has achieved similar things. She's already won five league titles in the Primera Division, which is a women's league in Spain. And she is still only 28. At this rate, she might catch up to her idol. Number seven, she won a Balloon d'Or. Football is all about goals, but it's also about awards. Players want to be recognized for their achievements, and the world has definitely taken notice of Alexia. In 2021, she stood side by side with Lionel Messi to receive the women's Balloon d'Or. There have been many comparisons between the two players, and Messi was a big influence on the way that Patelas plays football. But when she accepted the award, she proved that she was on the same level. The award is given to the player who is voted to have performed the best in the world in the previous year. It is just the third year that the Balloon d'Or has been awarded to women, and so Patelas is part of an elite club. She became the first Spanish woman to win the award and the first from Barcelona. Number eight, she thinks that football how the power to change the world. For Alexia, football is more than just a sport. She said in an interview that it has the power to end historical inequalities by changing the way that society sees women. If more women are doing things like playing football professionally, then it changes what else women are allowed to do too. Although she thinks there is still a long way to go to get women's football to the same level as their male counterparts, she believes that they are on the right path. Football has given her a platform to talk about issues and she wants to make a positive change in the world. Number nine, her father died before she made it big. Everyone wants their parents to be proud of them, and Alexia is no different. Her father, Juame, was a big part of her life. He took her to Barcelona matches at the Noi camp when she was growing up and introduced her to the sport. Sadly, her father died when she was 18 years old, and she was only just starting her professional career. Alexia is sad that he never got to see her achieve the things she has on the big stage, but said that she continues to play football for him. Number 10, she has over one and a half million Instagram followers. Alexia is a popular girl these days. She has a big following on Instagram where she shares a few moments from her life. But you can see how serious she is about football because it's almost all business. Basically every photo is of her playing football with her Barcelona team, lifting trophies or accepting awards. She does do the occasional advertisement though. She has had sponsored posts with Nike, Visa, car companies and even her own children's book. And after Messi retired last year, she wrote a big thank you on her Instagram to the Barcelona legend. She thanked Messi for making her enjoy football and for making the club that she loves bigger. There was a lot of respect from one Barcelona legend to another. Women's football is full of talent, skill and competition, but it can also be distracting for men to watch sometimes. Check out the most beautiful football players in women's football.